In recent years, Hidetaka Miyazaki has won the hearts of all gaming fans with his works. In this article, we introduce the best games by Hidetaka Miyazaki, which are recommended for gamers seeking a challenge. Before introducing the top works of this director, it is worth looking at Hidetaka Miyazaki's biography and life story. Miyazaki was born in 1975 into a poor family in Shizuoka, Japan. One of his childhood pastimes was reading books and manga. However, since the literature of the books and manga was beyond his comprehension, he would complete the parts of the story he didn't understand with his own imagination. This method of reading, combined with daydreaming, inspired the unique storytelling approach in Miyazaki's games. It is worth noting that due to his family's poor economic conditions, Miyazaki borrowed books and manga from the library as his parents couldn't afford to buy them. Additionally, his parents prevented him from playing video games, limiting his exposure to them before he went to university. As you can see, Hidetaka Miyazaki's biography and life story, marked by poverty and severe restrictions, are not particularly sweet. However, all these challenges set Miyazaki on the path to becoming one of the greatest figures in the gaming industry. After graduating from Keio University, Miyazaki worked as an accountant at Oracle Corporation in the United States. In 2001, a colleague introduced him to the game Eco. After experiencing this game, Miyazaki decided to change his career and find his path in the world of gaming. At the beginning of his career in the gaming industry, Miyazaki didn't have many job opportunities and decided to work at a company called From Software. Initially, he was tasked with planning the project Armored Core, Last Raven, but he later joined the development team. In 2006 and 2008, Miyazaki was chosen to direct subsequent installments of the Armored Core franchise, delivering a commendable performance in his first experience as a game director. Now that we've looked at Hidetaka Miyazaki's biography and the life and career progression of this Japanese director, we can move on to introducing Hidetaka Miyazaki's best games and his timeless works. The first title in our list of Hidetaka Miyazaki's best games is Armored Core 4, released on December 21, 2006. Armored Core 4 is an exciting and entertaining game for gamers who are interested in robot battles. In Act 4, players control a giant robot that resembles a weapon of mass destruction and can obliterate anything in its path. Another one of Hidetaka Miyazaki's best games, which marks the beginning of his success, is Demon's Souls. Demon's Souls is the first title in the Soulsborne series and, like other Soulsborne games, features challenging levels and boss fights. In summary, Demon's Souls is one of Hidetaka Miyazaki's best games, featuring a variety of enemies and an exceptional combat system that ensures it never becomes repetitive for gamers. Another one of Hidetaka Miyazaki's best games is Dark Souls. One of the reasons that makes Dark Souls not only one of Hidetaka Miyazaki's best games, but also a timeless masterpiece in the gaming world, is its exceptional design of boss fights and various environments. Although Dark Souls 2 is a sequel to Dark Souls, it doesn't have a significant narrative connection to its predecessor. Therefore, you don't need to have played the previous title to understand the world of Dark Souls 2. According to gamers' opinions, Dark Souls 2 is considered the weakest title in the Soulsborne series, and its excellent sales were primarily due to the success of its predecessor. In 2015, one of Hidetaka Miyazaki's best games, Bloodborne, was released for Sony's 8th generation console. Even after 8 years, it remains exclusive to the PS4. Miyazaki took level and boss fight design to a new level in Bloodborne. The appearance of Bloodborne's bosses is unlike anything you've experienced before. Additionally, the design of the buildings and alleyways in the city of Yuharnam is crafted in such a way that you can feel the despair and hopelessness in every corner. In 2016, the long-awaited conclusion for fans of the Dark Souls franchise arrived with the release of Dark Souls AE, one of Hidetaka Miyazaki's best games, marking the end of the Dark Souls series. 
Dark Souls IE. I not only offers a deep story and engaging gameplay, but it is also exceptional in terms of graphics and visual effects. In summary, Dark Souls II was the fitting conclusion this franchise deserved, and is remembered as one of Hidetaka Miyazaki's best games in the minds of Soulsborne fans. The best games by Hidetaka Miyazaki share similarities in storytelling, gameplay, and combat systems, but Sekiro Shadows Die Twice stands out as an innovation in the Soulsborne games with its fast-paced combat system. Overall, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice can be considered one of Hidetaka Miyazaki's best action games with gameplay that never becomes repetitive. Even after defeating the bosses a thousand times, you can still enjoy its boss fights. If you want to experience one of Hidetaka Miyazaki's best games that will change your perspective on the gaming world, I recommend trying Elden Ring. The overall story of Elden Ring is straightforward. You must obtain the rings held by the demigods and become the king of the lands between. From a difficulty standpoint, it can be said that Elden Ring is the easiest game in the Soulsborne series. Of course, this is true provided that you are familiar with the game's items and know how to use which weapons and items together to increase your power more than ever. In this video, we introduced you to the best games by Hidetaka Miyazaki, whose experience will be rewarding for gamers looking to challenge themselves. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe to our channel.